Hate. All right, Judy, but it just isn't fair. Well, then do something about okay, it. Okay, I will today, but it just isn't fair. I've had this notary public commission two weeks now, and nothing's happened. The only reason I worked so hard to get it was Mr. Thack said if I got it, I'd get a raise. Well, I got it. Nothing's happened. You've got to make something happen. Oh, yes, I know, Judy. I know. Your seal might expire, and then where would you oh, be? Oh, no, that's not it. The seal doesn't expire until 1956. Well, then stop pacing and start doing. <sighs> just walk right up to Mr. Thackeray and look him straight in the eyes. Straighten the eyes. Come in here. Julie! Boy, I sure stared him down. My cousin called me at the house this morning and canceled our appointment for this evening. What happened? Oh, his fiance was planning a big announcement party at his home this weekend, and the man who was supposed to run it walked out on it. Now, McCutcheon doesn't want me to come over because his fiance is too upset. Well, then, why don't you get a catering expert for them? They'll appreciate it, and it'll make it that much easier for you to close the deal. That's a great idea. This McCutcheon deal just must go through, or all my options will expire. Hello? Mr. McCutcheon? Thackeray, I just had a brilliant idea. Suppose I send a man over to help your fiancé plan her party for tomorrow night. No, no, no trouble at all. Yeah, he's just what you need, an expert. Been at it for years. All right, all right, I'll set it up. Goodbye. He sounds great, Mr. Thackeray. Who is this caterer? Who's the caterer? I don't know. It was your idea. Get me somebody, quick. Heavens, that was quite a build-up. I'd better go downtown to an agency and interview prospects so we can be sure to get the very best caterer they have. No, 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 I can't spare you. Uh, who was that in your office when I came through? Bob. Bean Blossom? Just the man. Bean Blossom. Yes, sir. Bean Blossom, I want you to go downtown to the, uh, the... Uh, the Caldwell Agency. That's the best. The Caldwell Agency. The Caldwell Agency. Now, you're to interview some men who cater and run big parties. Julie will phone now and arrange everything, so when you get there, they'll be expecting you. Now, Bob, I want you to be sure and pick out the very best man. Be particular. Get someone with a lot of charm, culture, background, and experience. You understand? Charm, culture, background, experience. Yes, sir. I'll see that they have it. Don't fail me. And furthermore, I want you back here not later than 3 o'clock. I have 10.25. What time of you? Uh, quarter to four. I... <laughs> You'd like to synchronize your watch with mine? No, I guess not. 10.25 and 14 seconds, yes. Bob, promise me, whatever you do, don't do it. <laughs> No, you first, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Excuse me. And your uh, name, please? Duval. Pepe Duval. Your middle name? Henri Pierre André Louis Jacques Saint Germain. No middle name. <laughs> uh, tell me, Mr. Duval. Pardon. Duval. 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 <laughs> Uh, have you ever been in charge of, uh, of big parties? Oh, monsieur, that is an insult. Bonsoir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Anyone can see you've been in charge of big parties. Uh, tell me, uh, were, were they successful? Oh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> well, won't you sit down, please? Now, now, uh, tell me, Mr. Duval. Pardon, Duval. 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 Uh, when you're in charge of big parties, uh, after they're all over, are the people who hired you perfectly, uh, perfectly, uh... <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, Mr. Duval. Duval. Uh, if it's all right with you, if you have no objections, why don't you just tell me about the last big party you ran? That is, if it's all right with you, if you have no objections. <laughs> oh, my last party. 
Of course, of course. I can still envision. Wish you had been there. Oh. Ah. I had our kids, our kids everywhere. Excuse me, I didn't quite get that. I said I had our kids everywhere. You brought the children along? Mais non, monsieur, our kids, our kids, a flower, monsieur. All the flowers. <laughs> oh, I had our kids everywhere. It cost a fortune. Oh. And there, there was the orchestra. Twenty-three pieces, all playing together. Two harps, boom, boom, bing, 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 <laughs> and twelve violins, la, 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 a layer cake, eight layer cake, oh. in the shape of an automobile, because as he host, he owned parking lots. Parking that was his <laughs> business, parking <laughs> lots. <laughs> and they drank, and they ate, and the champagne, and the dancing, and the champagne, and the music, and the drinking, and the champagne. It was my best party. <laughs> nice, it sounds wonderful. Well, there's nothing like a good party, I always say. Reminds me, right after the war, a bunch of fellows and myself got together, and uh, we threw a weenie bake. My, that was... Winnie Pick! Winnie Pick! <laughs> Winnie Pick, monsieur! Oh, vous avez le culot to compare the greatest party of the year to the Winnie Pick! Pooh! Oh, je voudrais voir vous dire en anglais ce que je pense de vous en français! I beg your pardon? I wish I could tell you in English what I think of you in French! Please, <laughs> you've got your hat. Huh? I, I mean, won't you wait outside with the others? You might be the one I pick. It, it shouldn't take long, believe me. Monsieur, you have insulted me, but as I need the money, I'll wait. Thank you. Oh, la la. La la. <laughs> Next. I'm supposed to be here at three o'clock. It's now seven. Where is he? I don't know. When I phoned the Caldwell agency at three o'clock, they said that the interview room was empty and he must have left. If I lose this percussion deal on account of him, I'll... Where is he? Well, I've got it. No Sorrentino, because the percussion would never go for pizza. And not Costalitz, because Bratwurst is too heavy and would cause the conversation to drag. No, it's Duval. Duval. Only Pierre-André-Louis-Jacques Saint-Germain Duval. Pepe. That's the one. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, s'en allez, Matina, s'en allez, Matina, ding, danton, ding, danton. Yes? Thank goodness. Where have you been, Bob? Where have I been? Well, right here at the Caldwell Agency, of course. We've been trying to reach you for the last three hours. You see, I told him not to put through any calls. I I've been right here interviewing the best men in the business, and I found the man. He's found the man. I knew all the time he'd get him. Uh, uh, Bob, what's he like? Uh, may I talk with him? Well, his name is Pepe Duval, uh, plus a lot of other names, of course. He's a great French caterer. If you'll just hold on a minute, Miss Thackeray, I'll let you talk to him. Uh, Monsieur Duval? Monsieur Duval? Uh, just a second, Miss Thackeray. Monsieur Duval? Monsieur Duval? Monsieur Duval? Oh, where did everybody go? It's only... I thought it was only 1.35 and it's five minutes past seven. I'll kill myself. I really will. I'll kill myself. That's one satisfaction Mr. Thackeray's not going to get. Or well, maybe by... Yes. Oui. Henri Pierre André Louis Jacques Saint Germain Duval. Pepe. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is this is Pepe Duval? I'll get it, Harry. Henri Pierre André Louis Jacques Saint Germain Duval. You, madame, may call me Pepe. You're the man Mr. Thackeray sent over to arrange my party tomorrow night? Uh, oui. Oh, well, come in, come in. I'm Margot. You and I have a lot to do, and uh, 
I'd like to get started right away. <laughs> but of course, of course. <laughs> How interesting. My first two husbands were French, you know. I'll take your things. I'm sure the party will be quite a success with you in charge. Ah, oui, madame, wonderful. I should never forget my last party. Our kids. Everywhere, our kids. You mean you had your children along? Please, madame, our kids, our kids, the flower. Oh, orchids. And the Alps. Mm, everywhere the Alps. <laughs> Pink, black, <pink, pink. laughs> And the clarinets. Of course, the clarinets sound just like the Alps. And the violins. Ah, 95 violins playing zing a zang a zong. Ah, the party costs the fortune. <laughs> and uh, that, of course, is what you have. Harry, darling, this is Mr. Pepe Duvall, the famous entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I'm sure everything's going to work out just fine. He seems perfect. He was just telling me about his last party. Was it any good? Any good. If Monsieur is interest, you have just insulted the great Duval. Pooh! Well, he's right, Harry. What a horrible thing to say. Apologize to Mr. Duval. What for? I think the whole party idea is ridiculous anyway. You heard me, didn't you, Harry? Of course I heard you. Do you think I'm... you... Uh, Hmm. Oh. All right, I apologize. All I can say, monsieur, is uh, we. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I seem to have mussed your hair. I'll fix it. Come oh, here, no. here, lady. No! Oh, my foot! Peasant. That's right. Not him, Harry, you. Why don't you watch where you're walking? Everyone says you need stronger glasses. Why don't I watch where I'm walking? He stepped on my... You saw... Oh, all right. I apologize. What I can say, monsieur, is uh, oui. Uh, you, you know, Peppy, this is our announcement party. The man who was here before you ordered all the food, but there's still time for some last-minute changes. Well, uh, I shall never forget my last party. The cake. The cake in the form of the automobile. You see, the host owns the parking lot. Uh, Monsieur Macatillon, uh, what business do you do? I'm a wholesale butcher. The wholesale butcher. In that case, this I cannot see or envision. And I cannot envision you getting paid. You're a caterer. Well, Kate. Entrepreneur. <laughs> Ignore him, Peppy. I understand creative people. Certain things you cannot force. Where are my glasses? What did you do with my glasses? He never knows. I've ordered 12 pair for all over the house. Ah! Now I envision the pork chop. <laughs> the cake in the form of the pork chop. Avec pants. Uh, formal pants, of course. <laughs> Et pétain! Divine! Ah, but I'm crazy! <laughs> Oh, that must be Mr. Thackeray. Monsieur Thackeray here, now? And why not? I'll let him in. Uh, this uh, could not be perhaps the great uh, Max Thackeray? No, this could be perhaps the great Willis Thackeray, the guy that sent you over here. Oh, sad guy. <laughs> I can hardly wait to meet him. <laughs> well, how are things progressing, Mr. McCutcheon? Is my man Duval around? I'd like to say hello to him. Well, he was here just a minute ago. Fine fellow, Duval. Yeah. Oh, yes, he'll never let you down. I picked him out myself, personally. Do you want me to go find him for no, you? No, 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 don't bother. We'll see him soon enough. Let's close the deal first. All right. Uh, where are my glasses? Can you see my glasses anyway? Oh. <laughs> are these the ones? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mm. Uh, all right. Oh, wait a minute. If we want to close this deal tonight, we've got to have this thing notarized. Yes, 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 we should have a notary. Uh, Bean Blossom. Well, you know, let's put this off until tomorrow. With Duval here, I... Oh, I, no, I, no, no, don't worry. I'll have a notary here before you know it. I'll call him at his home, that is, if you don't mind. Uh, where's your phone? Right over there. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello, Bob, my boy. Standing by, always ready. That's what I like. Mr. Thackeray, there's something I have to explain to you. It's very... Whatever it is, Bob, it can wait. Get right over to 357 North Ridgeway Drive and bring your notary public seal. But, Mr. Thackeray, I think you better listen. It's more serious than... Bean Blossom, not now. You can tell me when you get here. 
And I want you to get here right now. Peppy, I've been looking all over for you. Mr. Thackeray wants to say hello. Come on. Madame, wait. Madame, do you mind if I ask you the question personnel? Well, I don't mind at all. Call me Margot. Margot. Can you get out of this house through the kitchen? Yes. Bye. Madame, please. But you can't. Madame, please. Madame, please. Hello, pork chop. Monsieur Olsel Butcher. What do you debate? I will teach Madame the French tango for the party tomorrow night. Madame. Bum, 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 bum. Duval! Duval! Have you and my fiancé made any headway? Duval? You? Please, monsieur. Only Pierre André Louis Jacques Saint Germain Duval. But you, monsieur, may call me Pepe. Oh, no. Oui, oui, monsieur. Oh, Mr. Thackeray, I want to thank you again for sending us Pepe. He has some amazing ideas. Yes, amazing. Thackeray, how soon will that notary get here? Well, Thackeray, speak up. When will that notary get here? Could I have a glass of water, please? I don't feel so well. Ah, monsieur, I get it for you in the kitchen. Madame. You look terrible, Thackeray. Don't you think you ought to go home? Home, yes, I'll go home. Yeah, but I don't think you should drive, though. Well, that's right, I shouldn't drive. No. Say, I envision an idea. Duval will drive you home. Oh, that must be the notary. Oh, that's wonderful. Bean Blossom. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll let him in. How do you do? I'm, I'm Bean Blossom, the notary. Oh, 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 come on in, Bean Blossom. I'll take your hat and coat. I, I'll wear them, if you don't mind. I have quite cold. It retains the body heat, you know. Oh, all right. Come on in, Thackeray's in the living room. Thank you. How, uh, how did you get here so soon? Well, well, I didn't have to drive back to the office. I always carry my notary seal with me. Where are the papers? I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave soon. Never mind about that. Thackeray here isn't feeling very well. You and I can close that deal, and Duval will drive Thackeray home. Oh, that's fine. I mean, why bother? Why bother Mr. Duval, that is? I'll, I'll be glad to drive Mr. Thackeray home myself. Have it your way. Uh, give me the papers. Thanks. Your signature right there, Mr. McCutcheon. Bean Blossom can notarize it, and that'll be that. Harry, I... Oh, pardon me. Harry, I can't find Peppy anywhere. You don't think he's left? Because if he has, I'll... Thackeray, if that Frenchman you sent over here walks out the night before Margot's party, there's no deal. Oh, he'll be back, I'm sure. He's extremely dependable. If we could just sign the papers now, we can all go look for him. But I want him now. There's a lot that he and I have to finish. Well, about the party. If my party isn't a success tomorrow night, I... I don't know what I'll do. I'll get her some water. I know where it is. Where have you been? I couldn't find you. I looked all over. Ah, but did you look in the kitchen? Yes. Did you look in the bow? Yes. Did you look in the garden? No. <laughs> no one there. That's where I was. I love to walk among the flowers and talk with them. This is where I get my inspiration. Uh-huh. <laughs> then let you and I walk in the garden. There's still so much for us to do about the party. She's right, Thackeray. We still have to straighten out this crazy party business. Let's sign these papers and get that out of the way. Now, where's the pen? Ah, Monsieur la Pepe. Pepe thinks of everything, the ballpoint. Come along, Pepe. The party. 
Let's go into the garden and get the inspiration. Uh, please, madame, not now. Where's that notary now? Where's Bean Blossom? Please, madame, no. <laughs> Margot, yes. I have the idea magnifique. You wait in the garden, and I go into the kitchen and mix for you and me the drink exotic. Oh, Peppy, how romantic in the garden. Now, don't be long. I'll be there. Waiting. <laughs> Thackeray, I don't follow this. Where's Bean Blossom? Right there. Where? Right here, sir. Well, come on, let's notarize this thing and get it over with. Here, let me help you, Bean Blossom. You need new glasses. Now what? Duval, eh? Duval. Duval. Mr. Jeffrey, I'm terribly worried about Bob. He didn't come back to the office and he's not at home. Bob who? Bob Bean Blossom. He's right there. Where? There. What's going on here? Harry, I can't find Peppy again. N not now, doll. I'm talking business. Well, I'm talking business, too. As soon as you finish with Mr. Bean Blossom here, I'd like for him to help me find Monsieur Duval. Oh, he'll be more than glad to oblige. Won't you, Bean Blossom? Oh, more than. I mean, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Well, now, run along, doll. Okay, now let's get on with this notarizing. Where do I sign? Right there, sir. Oh. <laughs> There we are. And now me. There. Whose pen? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll see that Mr. Duvall gets it. Okay, then that's that, huh? Yes, it certainly is. Well, we'll be running along. Bean Blossom, Julie. Just a moment. Mr. Bean Blossom promised to help me find Monsieur Duvall. In the garden, Mr. Bean Blossom. <laughs> Mr. Thackeray, I think Julie better help me go find Monsieur Duval, too. Yes, I think so, too. Go ahead, Julie. Bob, what is all this? Julie, under all this is Pepe Duval, the caterer. You mean you... You know, you seem to become entangled in these things quite innocently. But I notice you always wind up with a girl. Something over which I have very little control, Julie. Yes, I've noticed that, too. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bean Blossom. <laughs> yes, I know. The garden. <laughs> Julie, this is for Thackeray Realty Company in the future. Something over which I have absolutely no control. <laughs> You're a sly one, Bean Blossom. Oh, you know. And a suave one. Thanks for not giving me away. It was a pleasure. And I enjoyed every second of Monsieur Duval. <laughs> Bean Blossom, this also is for Thackeray Realty Company and the future. Something over which I have absolutely no control. <laughs> 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 <laughs>